Hey guys, me Ronald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. So we'll get a little bit of a break today across the Intermountain West waiting on the next storm system. And that storm hits California today and tomorrow with a moderate to strong intensity atmospheric river surge. It's going to nail Los Angeles with like six months worth of rain. The Sierra will get feet of snow and then that storm will break loose and move into the interior. And you can see the timeline for that. The Tetons, you've got snow coming 2.5 through 2.8 with that storm. Utah, 2.5 through 2.9. Colorado, 2.6 through 2.10. And we're talking feet of accumulation in some of these places with this storm. Then there's another storm system that goes from California into the Central Rockies, 2.8 through 2.10. So there's a second. And then there's another storm behind that that looks like now it's going to move into the northern tier in British Columbia, 2.10 and 2.11. So we'll cover all that in this uh, this update today let me take you to water vapor and give you the latest uh, lay of the land here so there's the storm system gathering steam the one that's going to nail california today and tomorrow and then it will break loose and move into the interior states there's another storm behind it so that'll also be a player in the extended forecast but wait till i show you the jet i mean we're talking a powerful subtropical jet with this thing bringing it in and just transporting this rich surge of moisture into the Sierra. In fact, look at the forecast here for integrated vapor transport, atmospheric river moisture. You can see it is a moderate to strong surge today and tomorrow with this thing. And then some of that would roll into the interior and that's valid for the south central coast of California. All right, so here's the forecast radar and satellite. That's the uh, the situation by this afternoon. Heavy snow in the Sierra, heavy rainfall, lower elevations. Watch what happens in time. Begins to spread into the interior. And by 2.6 in the morning, you can see it's on the move. By 2.7 in the morning, heavy snow, widespread. Tetons, Big Sky, Idaho, Utah, Colorado, especially the western and southwest parts of Colorado. Here's 2.7 in the afternoon. 2.8. And then there's a second storm. You can see it coming down to the south out of Vegas right there and out of southern Utah. That's another storm system that comes out of California and dives into the Rockies. That's 2-9. That reinforces, look at that. It brings the snow back to Utah and Colorado all the way into 2-10. And then watch the Pacific Northwest as that one departs. That's another storm that runs across the Pacific Northwest, the northern tier, British Columbia, and then kind of dives down through Wyoming and Colorado. So we've still got a lot of snow yet to accumulate across the west. All right, let me show you the jet pattern here. So this is 2-5 tomorrow. Look at the orientation of that subtropical jet hammering the Sierra. The, the orientation is perfect for transport into Los Angeles with heavy moisture, and then all of that would get moved directly into the interior. All right, 2-7, you can see it happen. There's your trough bringing that storm and potentially one more behind it loading up. All of that would get moved um, into the central, uh, the, the Intermountain West, Intermountain Rockies. All right, here's 2-10, one last storm. You can see it coming through there. Look at that dip, that trough all the way down into Arizona and New Mexico. So it's storm after storm just being transported in from the west into the uh, the Rockies. All right, as far as snowfall accumulation, today into tomorrow, a couple of notes here. The numbers are big, obviously, one to two, maybe three feet in parts of uh, the Sierra. What you see in Utah happens mainly on 2-5. Um, what you see in parts of Wyoming happens mainly on 2-5. You have a little bit of leftover snow up there today but the next batch and actual storm system comes in on 2-5 and beyond. A little bit of snow up in parts of British Columbia and Banff as well, 1 to 3 inches up there. Okay, next time period. This is the big time period, 2-6 through 2-9. Again, a couple of different storm systems here captured within this 2-6 to 2-9 time frame. Um, probably 2 to three feet for the Wasatch, a foot over Bryan Head, big time numbers down in Snow Bowl. In Colorado, it's mainly western and southwest Colorado that gets the big stuff, anywhere from eight to 16, maybe two feet down in the San Juan, southwest Colorado, a lot less snowfall on the Continental Divide, so less snow for Loveland, A Basin, Winter Park, Summit County, and Eldora This with that storm system. Probably eight to 12 up there in the Tetons. Okay, last time period. This is 210 through 213. Again, at least two storm systems. There's one that kind of rolls through the, the central and southern tier, and then there's one that kind of comes out of the Pacific Northwest and hits uh, BC and Banff, and then kind of runs down through Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado. And you can see the numbers um, of what's left in that time period. So again, we've got snow potentially all the way through 213 for much of the Rockies. 
Let's go to the Northeast. And much of what happens here is 210, 211, 212, 213. Uh, and you can see the, the main storm track takes the heaviest snow south of the major ski areas, but runs it through Massachusetts, southern New York State, and so on. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. So we got a little bit of a break today in the Intermountain West, but then everything comes roaring back to 5 and beyond. Take care, guys.